Okay, so what I got here today, uh, got my Elm 327 based OBD2 scanner. I know a lot of people can go out there and they can buy them uh, Elm 327 based boxes and hook up their laptops to them and run a third party software program and pull all the information off their car, but I think it's a lot better. Anyways, uh, this video I'm going to put together in a bunch of different parts, uh, maybe four or five, I don't know. We'll figure it out when I get there. Uh, well, anyways, right up to it. For the display, no, that ain't gonna work. For the display, I've got a color LCD. Basically, it's the Nokia knockoff from SparkFun.com. This thing ain't focusing, isn't it? Close enough. Uh, this is just an old Lawrence. Uh, GPS that I found laying around. I gutted it, made it all fit, zip zip stripped it right there together. It all, it works. Got five push buttons down there, just mounted on a big old uh, or a chunk of perf board, soldered together, whatnot. It's got two cables coming out of the back of it. One is for control and the buttons and the power, and the other one is directly to the lap uh, laptop, directly to the LCD, the serial control, the uh, Serial data, serial clock, reset, chip select, all those lines. This extra serial cable here, <clears throat> that goes directly to the OBD2 cable, which I got off eBay. Standard OBD2 cable, I think, anyways. Seems like the bulk of them are wired up the same way. But there are a few oddballs out there that ain't wired up the same way, so, you know, obviously if I grabbed one of those cables, plugged it into this, it won't work. It's just an old box I had. Mainly it's for my MP3 player that I built a long time ago, but uh, gutted that when I smoked it. Got a circuit board here. I got one underneath it. They're bolted together with these four bolts. Uh, Stand off basically a, call it a double layer circuit board if you will. The bottom layer is nothing more than the uh, demonstration Elm 327 circuit in their data sheet with all the regulators and a little bit of power filtering and all that uh, 12 volt, 5 volt regulators got a 4 pin connector right here which is power, ground and serial transmit and receive on the top board here I got a PIC 18F 4685 which is full by the way I got two uh, 128K EEPROMs they're the uh, yeah I know you can't see it 24A 1025's 10 megahertz uh, crystal here. I'm using the 4X PLL inside the pick. Got a 3.3 volt regulator here, which is pick controlled, so it can turn the LCD on and off. And I got some push buttons here from when I didn't have that thing over there mounted, the uh, display mounted. So those push buttons ain't been used, but I ain't got around to taking them apart yet. Now, what did I put up here? I forget. Ah, this is my pick 12X. 12F675 and I'll get more back to that more later. Basically I use that as a frequency divider. So I'll beat out of a shift register. I just programmed that to take the output from a, a pulsing output from the pick and divide it down a ways to use for that. And I'll get again, I'll get back to that more later. So it works out pretty slick. I just uh, Basically all that's programmed in this little PIC-12 is a blinky program, blinky LED, and I just set a different uh, pause in there and got it to divide the clock by, a, I can't remember what the value was. And a uh, little inverter here, or not an inverter, but a, uh, this PIC drives this transistor to pull the output line down from 12 volts to zero to run the TAC. <clears throat> I also got a little bitty, uh, you know, like one of them little earbud speakers and all that does is beeps for me so I got a little bit of a uh, audible indication of what's going on and again the two plugs one for the LCD one for the buttons OBD and this connects to this which is hooked into this and again when I get to the test drive I'll show more what's going on with that later on so basically what this thing does is it reads everything that the computer in the car is putting out, whether it's ISO, uh, PWM, J1850 PWM, J1850, VPW, CAN, 
Uh, there's a couple other ones. Whatever the Elm, whatever the Elm 327 handles. I'll, I'll read it because <clears throat> once it comes out of the Elm 327, it's all straight up serial data, piece of cake. Uh, and some of the, what is it, J1938 stuff, but I haven't had a chance to mess around with any of that yet. So, next part of the video, I'll have it plugged into the car and little uh, readings coming out with the car off and with the key on and parameters coming out of the computer. That'll be in part two. Okay, so now I got my prototype unit plugged into the car. I got the display hanging off the mirror just for now. So, probably can't see it, but the OBD2 cable's plugged in. Run it over here to the box. I don't have anything plugged in, obviously. And I got the display unit hanging off the mirror just so I can see it. Uh, it's probably going to go in and out of focus because it's a bit of a pain to focus on that, uh, that little display unit up there just because it's behind some glass and then the display is behind glass and it's so close, you know. It's going to be a bit of a pain to focus, so give me a sec while I plug her in. Now here, I just take my OBD2 cable, plug her in the USB, and you might be able to hear the little beep. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, so you can barely see my LEDs through here just for a little bit of visual indication that something's going on. And here's a display unit, obviously out of focus. So I'm going to have to cut and splice this.